The other night I was having a discussion with Afro Elite on his channel about different topics and we got on the topics about heroes, more so black heroes. And I was telling him a story, you know, we, we brought up the story about James Shaw Jr. If you don't know who James Shaw Jr. is, he was the black man that saved some people at a Waffle House when a PC gunman went in there and started to shoot it up. Unfortunately, four people did die, but he was able to stop any more casualties from happening. In that same year, that was a, uh, a Chadwick Boseman, God rest his soul, you know, he ended up winning so many awards for his portrayal as Black Panther. But one of the awards that he did win was at the MTV Movie Awards later on that year. And he invited James Shaw Jr. to the show and he brought him up on stage and actually gave him his award because he said, I played a hero on screen, but you were a hero in real life. And by the way, Chadwick Boseman had won the award, I guess, for best on screen superhero or something like that. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because we over here like to highlight a lot of black heroes or unsung heroes that don't get as much recognition, you know, mainly due to lamestream media. And this story that I'm about to tell you is no different. Unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, it took a turn that it shouldn't have. So in this picture, you see a man by the name of Kawan Green, and I believe that is his mother next to him. I'm not exactly what her name is. I'm sure they'll probably mention it in the article. But what ended up happening is that uh, this man right here was disarming a gunman inside of an establishment, and he know he was able to save the people who he the gunman was going after. But then police arrive and ended up shooting Kawan Green multiple times. Now, that's the unfortunate part. But the fortunate part is, is that Kawan Green survived his, his wounds. Um, if you look at the thumbnail, you can actually see him right there laid up in the bed. And he has bandages at where he was shot at. You know, he got shot in the leg. He got shot in the arm. I think he might have gotten shot in the torso as well. But... The good thing about this is that he actually survived. Now, he's actually him and his family, but more so him because he was the one who was shot, is planning to sue uh, the California cops that were involved, and rightfully so. But I'm going to go ahead and read the article, and we're going to go ahead and get into it. A high school football champion who was shot by police after he appeared to disarm a gunman at a California restaurant has sued the city and its police department for excessive force, his lawyer said Thursday. In a lawsuit filed in U.S. District Court in Northern California, lawyers for Kawan Green, age 20, accused authorities of opening fire without giving him a chance to comply with orders to drop the gun after he had her heroically protected himself and everyone in the restaurant from the gunman. Green's dream of playing Division I football and being drafted into the National Football League are in jeopardy, the suit claims. He faces a long and uncertain road to regain the life he once enjoyed. Now, what's interesting is I just did a video, well, not a video, but in my live stream, I talked about the clerk down in Florida who stopped that PC man from coming back. Well, he got back there, but he was, you know, trying to attack him for whatever reason it was, and the clerk subdued him. And the cops were called, and what ended up happening? They ended up putting the black man, the clerk, in cuffs and tried to give every excuse possible to the PC man who was the one that came behind that counter when he wasn't supposed to, basically trespassing. Green was struck in his abdomen, a leg, and an arm, according to the suit. Part of his intestines were removed, the suit says, as were multiple pieces of shrapnel. Green said at a news conference Thursday that he was in pain and hurting inside and out. They treated me like a criminal, even though I saved my friend's life. Adding, it's still surreal to me. It just hurts to know I can't play football this year. I'm going to try my hardest to make a comeback. A San Jose police spokesman and a spokeswoman for the city's attorney office declined to comment on the suit Thursday. According to the suit, Green and a few friends were waiting at a San Jose Tequeria. And I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Someone can correct me if I'm incorrect. March 27th, when a stranger began harassing him and punched him in his face. As Green tried to defend himself, a friend of the attacker pointed a gun at Green and other customers. Green wrestled the weapon away from the gunman and moved toward the Takiri's front door as three people chased him trying to get the pistol back. 
Mr. Green fended them off with one hand while simultaneously holding the gun away from their grasp in his left hand. When Green backed up through the restaurant's front door, a San Jose police officer fired four times. The suit claims that none of the officers gave warning that Green would be shot, nor did they give him time to comply with orders that authorities have said were given to drop the weapon. Restaurant security video released by authorities last month showed a chaotic scene with multiple people throwing punches and Green appearing to wrestle the gun away from someone. In disturbing bystander video of the shooting, about four seconds passed between when Green opens the security's front door and when police officers shoot him. Only four seconds. Four seconds is rather quick when it comes to a situation such as this. Granted, that time was a little bit longer than Tamir Rice because Tamir Rice, they fired on him in like 1.5 seconds. But see what happens when they see this black man as a threat withholding uh, the weapon. They made, they basically assumed that he was the one that was the shooter, but they didn't give warning and saying drop the weapon or anything like that. Not that that much would have done much of anything because they like to over exaggerate when it comes to us. Look at what just happened with Amir Locke. I talked about him in my live stream. They not pressing any charges against the cops that came in there and did a no knock raid and shot him while he was on the couch. The suit claims Green remained handcuffed to a hospital bed after the shooting and was prevented from seeing his family until March 29th. San Jose Police Chief Anthony Mata told reporters that officers who responded to the fight believe they were responding to an active shooter scenario linked to a nearby ha homicide. Authorities later concluded that another person took the gun to the restaurant, but that when the officer saw Green backing out of the Takiria, he didn't know that Mata said. The officer knew only that the individual holding the gun did not drop it when commands were clearly given to him. Green is a three-time state football champion who played quarterback at an Oakland high school, the suit says. At the time of the shooting, he was a linebacker at Contra Costa College who earned first team all PAC 7 conference honors last season according to the school's athletics program it's the fact that they were quick to react to this and how would he have known that that's what they were really saying to him because it was a bunch of chaos going on inside like this guy imagine he had to hold off in one hand with one hand people from getting the gun and hold the gun out in with another this guy was preventing what could have been something much more catastrophic and that has to be taken into consideration and hopefully it is unfortunately for the people who live in that city the lawsuit if they do win that's going to come out of the taxpayers because you know the police department ain't going to pay for that even though they should considering they're the ones that are responsible for the position that he's in but like i said i'm just glad that he's alive and he's able to tell his side of the story because if God knows if he had died, they would have twisted this thing like a pretzel. And you know they would have. They probably trying to twist it right now, even with him breathing. This guy is a hero. Like he saved a lot of lives that day, including his own. This could have turned completely left. In more ways than one. Because more people could have died. He hell, he could have died in this in what could have been the shooting inside of that establishment. Or he could have died by being shot by the cops. Really, he was in a deadlock situation. He really was. But shout out to him and kudos to him for saving those people. And we'll see what happens when it comes to the resolution of his case.